The world's emissions of carbon dioxide must be reduced in order to mitigate climate change, but that alone is not enough. According to the UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, negative emissions also need to be created to counter what cannot be reduced. Negative emissions reduce the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and are a key factor if we are to succeed in reaching the 1.5 degree target in the Paris Agreement. This is why Stockholm Exergy is working to establish the first large-scale facility in Europe for bioenergy with carbon dioxide capture and storage, BEX. BEX is a key technology for creating negative emissions. When biofuel is incinerated in a combined heat and power plant, a CHP plant, fitted with a CCS plant, up to 90% of the carbon dioxide is captured and can then be transported and stored permanently. Carbon dioxide that the forest has previously absorbed and bound through photosynthesis, and negative emissions are thereby created. Thanks to its modern district heating system, Stockholm Exergy can combine BEX with district heating, which allows for an energy efficient process. Sweden has a long tradition of sustainable forestry and a well established infrastructure for biofuels. The preconditions for BEX are therefore very good. The potential for creating negative emissions through BEX is great. In the Swedish capital Stockholm alone, 2 million tonnes of carbon dioxide can currently be captured annually, and calculations made by the Swedish Energy Agency show that the potential for the whole of Sweden is over 30 million tonnes per year. This is a technology that can be put in place in just a few years, and can thus quickly contribute to mitigating global climate change. Stockholm Exergy's project will help to speed up the rate of change in the energy system and the project's technology can be used at more facilities. Stockholm Exergy is at the forefront of the development of BEX and is a catalyst for creating an international market for negative emissions through Carbon Removal Certificates CRCs, that will be an important part of the financing of large-scale facilities. Since 2019, the company has been operating a research facility in Stockholm, while at the same time, work is underway to establish a large-scale facility. Once in place, it will be able to capture up to 800,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide each year. These are negative emissions that the society and the climate need. <laughs>